Okay, here we are at the Huckle Drive unit. Um, the location, I would say, is more in between Bremerton and Silverdale, so it's kind of a middle ground, um, which is nice for the shopping in Silverdale and then the ferry to Bremerton, or from Bremerton. And then down here you can see there's some guest parking, so a few guest parking spots, as well as some there. You have a covered parking space for your car, which is nice. And then the HOA dues are $322 a month. It says that's for common areas, earthquake insurance, garbage, lawn ser services, etc. So I'm sure we can get a more in-depth explanation um, looking at the CCNRs. But here is a look at the unit. It's nice that this is pushed back. So it almost is a little bit of privacy, which is not super common. I feel like this layout in a townhome typically. So let's head on inside. Okay, right when we walk in, you can see, you can go upstairs, but we're greeted by kind of the open large living room space. We're just at 1,226 square feet in the house. So it is large for a town home, I believe, and the electric heating, so you're gonna see those baseboard heaters, like the one behind the couch here. You have a wood-burning fireplace, which is nice, you know, with this layout, I think it wouldn't take much to warm it up and save some money on electricity. This is a really cute living space, and it goes right out onto the front, kind of this little deck that we saw. So that's super cute and nice to be able to open this up and do some indoor outdoor entertaining if you wanted to. We'll take a look in here. Just some a little bit of storage it looks like and some extra carpet. Potentially that might be the water heater right there. Have to double check that, but off to the right here you have a coat closet. And then you have the guest bath down here. So this was a 1980. So some of it looks a little dated and some of it to me looks like they've done some upgrades. Here's a look at the flooring. Pretty standard bathroom here. You can see they have the temperature control like that throughout. It's a couple different ones. Then down this hall goes into the kitchen and to me this looks like it's you know had some updates so you are getting the dishwasher washer and dryer refrigerator and the stove and range so this will convey the counter is really pretty you have that lighting there got the sink and a good amount of cabinetry good use of space so you have this kind of little, not an island, but almost like a little breakfast bar right here that opens up into the dining space. Yep, so you can see they did some bar stools there. So if you did not like the formal dining room look, you could utilize this space for something else. So look at the baseboard heater. And we have these built-ins here. Again, a good amount of storage take a peek in the backyard and then we'll head on up but let's see here so we're on this back patio here you can see it's just a little fenced in yard there's some road noise the road is behind us there these big trees it feels really private back here so you could enter right there and then you have this just kind of additional storage little shed that's kind of attached here so let's head on inside and go up and check out the upstairs okay so right off the bat here we have a little office space. This room does not have a closet in it. You can probably tell, I'm sure it's always harder on camera, but it's a smaller size. So I think, you know, an office space is smart to do here. There's no overhead lighting. So you just have that smaller window, you know, get a better light fixture in here. And I think it would definitely brighten it up. And it's carpeted up here other than the bathrooms, I believe. 
Straight across from there, you have a linen closet. And it's the same situation in here, the overhead lighting, but this room is a little brighter. They have more lighting in it. You have this closet. So this is a good size room. Definitely could fit a queen. I think you could fit a king. Um, you have a baseboard heater over there in this closet, which is a nice size. Some um, little built-in shelves here. Down the hall and to the left is the bathroom. So again, some of this is more dated and then they've done a couple things to spruce it up. But you have the fiberglass tub shower insert. That's kind of this nude muted color. You can tell I'm sure on camera. Same goes for the toilet. And then you have the vanity has a little bit of storage in it, but a nice size bathroom. And then the washer dryer. And this is great. You could do a folding table or something right here over top of it. And these do convey. We'll step down here into the last bedroom. So I would make the other one the master probably just because this one does look a little bit tinier in terms of wall space too. But this window is out to that front area. However, it does have this nice closet, but you know, you could always utilize both closets and choose a room. So this is really cute. Before we head out, I misspoke. This one does have that overhead light right there that added a little bit of brightness to the room. Wanted to point out too, before we go, a couple of maybe paint dings and such on the wall. Um, because of course, these are harder things to pick up on. So, one last look and I'll kind of show you the street when we drive out. On the exterior, similarly, um, just some wear and tear in general with the paint and maybe the staining on the deck. So, stuff that if you're not maybe necessarily looking closely might not stand out to you, so want to point that out but it's really really cute love that little deck area there all right i'm pulling out of the complex you can see just surrounding it is a lot of um kind of neighborhood and residential areas and then we are gonna go up here and take a left which will be putting us more towards the main road to the left or to the right here, I believe is maybe a church. Um, and then, yep, okay, perfect. I do believe that was, at least right here is one. So you have a church back here, and like I said, some other neighborhoods. So heading up to this stop sign here, we'll be getting kind of on that main road to head into Silverdale or Bremerton. <laughs> 